Okay. Bryce Young benched Dalton starting. Is that official news? If that's the case, that's a bummer because they are, yeah, Bryce Young benched for Andy Dalton. Immediately, all of the wide receivers in the offense see a huge boost. Immediately, the tight end sees a huge boost. Um, This is going to be a lot better, but it's still a bad football team. It's a bad offensive line. The receiving core is mediocre, and the defense isn't good. So I'm not feeling great about them. I will say from week one, and like I said on Twitter, my survivor pick every single week is picking against the Panthers until you can't. I was going to pick the Raiders this week, to be honest. Now I can't do it. I can't pick the Raiders against Andy Dalton. That is the biggest wild card of all time. So back to the drawing board. But for fantasy purposes, Andy Dalton's probably not a pickup, but I think Deontay Johnson sees a decent boost. I think Andy Dal- or Adam Thielen's going to see a boost. Those two are very, very good friends. Um, I believe Andy Dalton was th- there first. Whichever one of them was there first, the other one went there because they're like really good friends. That was a really big deal to them. Maybe they joined the same offseason. Whatever. It doesn't matter. All you need to know is they're extremely good friends off the field, and usually that leads to targets on the field. So I think Adam Thielen could be a sneaky pickup this week. Okay, Carolina, the biggest shit show on the planet. Yeah, Adam Thielen played 45 of the 48 snaps. Doesn't seem like it because he's not performing well. But with Andy Dalton there, lock in Adam Thielen for DFS, I think. I think Adam Thielen is going to be fantasy relevant. So that is an interesting pickup to me. Otherwise, Mingo played 30 of the 48 snaps. Deontay Johnson played 45 of the 48. Do they have where Deontay Johnson's lining up? Let me do that for you. Because that is interesting to me. Okay, so Deontay Johnson, they are doing that. I love it. This is falling exactly into what we talked about preseason. So Deontay Johnson has played 67 of the 84 snaps split out wide. 17 in the slot. They're asking Deontay Deontay Johnson to be the wide receiver one. We talked exactly about this because they said, the offense is going to run through Deontay Johnson. I said, that sounds like they're going to make him an outside receiver, and then he's going to get destroyed on the outside. That's exactly what's happening. Andy Dalton comes in. If I mean, Deontay Johnson's still going to play outside receiver. That means Adam Thielen's going to continue to operate in the slot. Whew. Deontay Johnson is not an outside receiver. Not at all. That's fun. I love that. Congratulations, Carolina. You did it again. Back nine train, do you think Deontay Johnson value becomes more valuable with the Red Rocket? Talked about this. Deontay Johnson, do I still have it up? I do. Deontay Johnson's doing exactly, the Carolina Panthers are doing exactly that I said was going to happen, which would be the most funny outcome. Deontay Johnson has played 67 of his 84 offensive snaps out wide. Panthers were like, we're going to run this offense through him, which meant, and I said, That doesn't sound like a slot receiver. Sounds like they're going to put him on the outside. They put him on the outside, and I'm going to let you know, Deontay Johnson's going to still be a bad football player as an outside receiver, even if fucking Joe Montana's out there. Deontay Johnson's a slot, but Adam Thielen's the slot. Adam Thielen, best friends with Andy Dalton outside of football. Adam Thielen, sneaky pickup. Adam Thielen, great DFS play next week. I think Adam Thielen sees the biggest boost. I think Deontay Johnson... 